Welcome to Guns Gear Network everyone, appreciate you tuning in. Today we're going to discuss my low profile EDC backpack with bulletproof insert and IFAC. Stay tuned. Welcome back guys, appreciate you tuning in. So today we're going to take a look at my low profile uh, backpack here that is my EDC. So for you guys that are trying to figure out a way to have some things with you that doesn't scream overly tactical. Now granted this is a tactical bag and I've got the Punisher thing on here. Uh, but um, you know, it's it, is it, this is actually a bulletproof backpack. I'll show you, we've talked about this in other videos. I've actually done a video about it. And I've done a video about this IFAC I'm getting ready to show you. So instead of having a big IFAC hanging off this thing and all that, uh, I have one inside that I'm going to show you. And it is one of the DIY Navy SEAL uh, plate carrier styles that I've done a video about. I will link to that video in the section below in the comment section. I'll pin it so you can go over there and check out that video if you want to build one for yourself. So you know you could do any color you want whatever it doesn't really matter um i just black doesn't show dirt so that's my main thing it's not so much about it being tactical it's more about not showing dirt um but get you a nice bulletproof insert i can keep this in my truck you know instead of carrying like a plate carrier or a bulletproof vest i can grab this and i've said this before you essentially wear it like a vest you just stick your hands through here and you put this in the front of your chest and that's the way you would wear it but uh Keep in mind, if you carry a pistol in, in your or anything important that you want to get a hold of, in a hurry, in an emergency, uh, that kind of thing, crap hits fan suddenly, you want to be able to grab whatever zipper it is that you're trying to get the most important item. Let's say you have a pistol and some spare magazines. You want something to remind you what zipper to pull. So I just put a piece of 550 cord on mine to make it easy. I can grab hold of it, stick my hand in here, and then grab you know whatever firearm I need uh, out of it. And also keep in mind which zipper you put it on. So, and the reason I say that is this sits in my truck like this in the floorboard, and I know if I grab this and pull it towards me, it's going to open now. So now you can put, like I said, you can make this pretty inconspicuous or you know whatever however you want to do it you know i've got these scissors here um i like having scissors uh for an edc or i'm sorry for a ifac uh but i didn't want to put them in this ifac and i'll show you why here in a minute um so outside where i can cut off you know clothing or whatever i need uh to get to a wound to be able to assess what's going on uh that sort of thing so let's take a look and again i've already showed this video i mean showed this in videos before so here's my bulletproof insert right here. And this right here is one of the, I got this off of eBay from a vendor called White Horse. Really nice quality, made in the USA, um, so forth. And it says this side to be worn against body. So that tells me the way I need to put it in my bag is like this. So, all right, let me get this other stuff. I got some extra holsters. I just got some EDC type stuff I carry in here also. So let's take a look at my IFAC. So again, if you watch that other video, I've got 550 cord on it so I can pull it out. And this right here is it. It's in a map bag. I'll have this entire, everything that I can, you can buy off of Amazon will be in my Amazon store. You cannot buy decompression needles. They do not allow that in uh, Amazon. But everything else for the most part is available on Amazon. So some of you may see this called Quick Clot uh, Kaolin. This right here is Kaolin powder. You can put regular, I've done a video about that too, and I'm going to do a follow-up video probably here soon. Um, but I'm not going to take the contents out, and the reason is because there's a, well, that video that, I've, again, I referred to will have everything that I have in here in that uh, video for you to go reference if you want to build one of these. It's nice and flat and uh, easy to see everything in here when I'm starting to pull things out and uh, it's much easier than in the regular IFAC the traditional style you see pull this one thing out and everybody can see what's in here chest seals, tourniquets, everything's right there So, but these map bags I'll have those and all this other stuff of, that's available uh, directly on 
uh, Amazon. And uh, if you can't, if, once you watch that video and you reference everything and make your list and you go to Amazon to look for it, if you can't find it, uh, just go to uh, eBay, somewhere like that. Uh, there's guys on there that'll sell quick clot and, and stuff like that a little cheaper maybe. Uh, some of it's outdated, but it probably should uh, work just fine. But there you go, guys. So I can grab that up out of my truck in uh, you know emergency situation. Um, in my uh, state, there was a guy that was shot by an off-duty deputy the other day. The guy kind of attacked the guy's family in his vehicle or something. I don't know all the circumstances, but uh, something like this, you can throw it on real quick. Maybe even hand it to a family member. Uh, they can throw it on whatever and uh you know you have some resources here with the bulletproof portion of it the ifac extra you know firearm if you have one in here uh so just kind of make it your own but this is kind of what uh is a good little setup i think anyway guys appreciate you tuning in if you got any uh suggestions post those below uh that's always helpful uh, if you got any comments do that also and as always guys like share and subscribe bring another video shortly have a great day